Well, an elderly woman takes a dangerous fall, and a New Orleans bartender calls the EMS response embarrassing. As Rob Besson reports, the Orleans Communications District called in backup as it works to fill a major employee shortfall. For many New Orleanians, slow emergency response times are all too common. Anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours to show up. And when they showed up, they were agitated because they said that he wasn't there anymore. Several years ago, bartender Kaylee Geary waited in vain for first responders to show up after someone tried to kick in her front door. And she said she had a similar experience Friday night. But I can't imagine that they would have downplayed the severity of a 90-year-old woman smacking her head on the floor. Kaylee says as a large party was exiting the CBD restaurant where she works, a 90-year-old woman fell to the ground hit her head on some rocks and began bleeding. So we ran over and we did what people that don't have any first aid training would do. We brought water and ice and towels and we did everything that we could do in our power. Five minutes turned to 10, 10 turned to 20. And Geary says out of town guests were stunned that it took so long for EMS to arrive to help the 90 year old family matriarch. That's not a thing that other cities have to deal with. For its part, the Orleans Communication District says the call for service went out at 11.01 p.m. and all EMS units were out. But EMS says they were able to respond in just under 30 minutes. Acadian Ambulance, which is under contract to Orleans EMS to provide support, says it was contacted to respond to the restaurant call at 1117 Friday night, 16 minutes after the initial call came in. It was a 26 minute response time from the time of receiving the call to getting on scene. The Orleans Communications District said all New Orleans EMS units were assigned to other incidents at the time of the accident, prompting a response time which EMS says was 14 minutes longer than their goal. We like to get to emergency calls within 12 minutes. Uh, but obviously during busy times, we're going to get a delay. Though EMS currently has about 33 vacancies, they say the manpower situation is getting better. Uh, the administration has been uh, very keen on trying to get retention pay and incentives to bring more folks in. I think that is drawing more, more staff in, and so hopefully that will continue to improve. But after she and a group of visitors witnessed an EMS response time of nearly 26 minutes with an elderly victim, Kaylee Geary, once more. It was jarring just to see their reaction to it because we find a way to normalize it and almost joke about it because it's our everyday reality, but they're not used to it. Ambulance officials say the woman was treated at the scene and transported and was believed to be in stable condition. And EMS officials say the response might have been faster if the call was handled as a life-threatening instead of a non-life-threatening emergency. Meantime, they continue to work to fill dozens of vacancies, and they say they have another academy starting in August. Meg?